What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. I made this video. I want to talk about this whole coronavirus stock market, quote unquote, plummet that's been going on, right? How people are just some people. Well, some people are just losing their minds because they see this plummet of the stock market, right? And I don't know about any of you, but what I know is, based on my experience, is just living around. If the if the if the stock market is going down. I always thought that was the time to buy, not to sell. Folks are losing their mind, selling all their selling all their stock and all that. But I always use this analogy, and it's a real world analogy. Let's say you're at the grocery store this week, right? You go to the grocery store, you see food that is at its normal price, right? Foods at their normal price, and you say, "Wow." This food, the price of this food is too high. We can't even get this. Right? So you so you go past it. Now let's say the next week come by, you go to the same store, and you go by that same section in the store, and you now see there's a sale. Things are on discount, right? The price is low. What's the first thing you'll say? Oh wow. The price gone down. Oh, they selling it for a le- lesser price. Oh, let's get some. Now let's get some. Let's get a whole bunch of it because the price is now low. That's what's happening with the stock market. That's the whole coronavirus thing because of the scare of it. How some people are just it, it's it's affecting different areas of economics. So people are afraid and they're just they're just dumping all their stock. Nah, see, back to that same store analogy. Once you buy all of that all of that all that food that's for the low, what usually happens like a week after or a day or two after that sale? What happens to the food? To the price of the food. It goes back to its regular price. Right? So. That's the same thing that's going to happen with the stock market. Everything now. Is for the low. Right? So my thing is. Don't dump your your old stock. Buy some more. Because you know. It's going to go back up. We all know the stock market goes up and down anyway. We know this. This ain't the first quote-unquote scare that's been had by the stock market. It ain't the first, won't be the last. And the folks that's in the know, the folks with the money, ain't tripping for some reason. You ever bother, you ever wonder why, how come you don't ever hear Warren Buffett say, hey, dump everything? You don't ever hear Bill Gates saying, hey, dump everything. You never hear that, right? Why is that? They're billionaires. So they got a whole bunch of money invested in the stock market. So if something were to really go down and really go crazy, they would really get hit. Right? Granted, they're still billionaires. But they would get hit. You would, you, would, you would see that number. But they're not tripping. So how come the folks with the money aren't tripping over the stock market going down? Instead, they're excited. Think about that. The folks with the money are happy that the stock market is having this quote-unquote plummet. Why is that? That's because... If it's one thing you know about folks with money, when you have money, what you really don't want to do is spend a whole lot of it. The objective is to gain money and keep as much as possible. 
that, that's, that's what you're doing for. So, folks with money, the one thing they're not trying to do is spend a whole lot of it. They're trying to save it or get more. So, if you could buy a stock that would say, let's say, for 100 and now it's at 80 something, what you going to do? The crazy thing you could do is really, if you try to play full price, I mean, how many moms, how many moms out there always getting coupons, right? The whole coupon thing. Why is that? Because, you know, coupons will give you a discount on something that would normally cost more. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money to, for something. You try to spend as little money for the same thing. So, the stock market has plummeted, quote unquote plummeted, or plummeting. That means all these stocks are for the low. Don't sell. Buy because it's for the low. If something is for the low, get it. Because when it gets high, you won't be able to afford it again. So get it when you can afford it. The rule is buy low, sell high. Okay? Or in this case, buy low, keep it when it's high. You understand? So this whole coronavirus got folks shook and stuck because the stock market is going down. Man, if you know like I know, you better put that money in when it's getting down. Because when it go up, you ain't going to be able to get it again. Because that rebound hit, first you have a plummet, then you have a rebound. When that rebound hit, it's going to bounce real high. And folks ain't going to be able to get in on it. But while it's low right now, get all you can. Get all you can while you can. Because when it goes up, you ain't going to be able to touch it no more until it happens again. So, buy low, keep high. All right? So, I want to get out a little information on that. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.